Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about some different kinds of EDM music. Uh, there is a huge variety. I'm just going to go through five of them, five of them today. Um, and each of these can be broken up way further. And we'll talk about those and some of them a little bit more as we go. Um, so these five are definitely not categorical of every single EDM song. But it's a good, um, it's a good way to start distinguishing between some really common types. So there used to be... Um, it used to be like in the 22, in like the 2000s and 2010s, when EDM music wasn't as popular, it tended to be a lot more, uh, a lot more repetition with not as much, uh, drops or build up, um, or variation amongst the beats or even the types of EDM music, uh, cause it still was being explored as an entire genre by a lot of people. And the technology has progressed so much and it has become so much more popular that people are really finding ways to differentiate their sounds. And it's allowing uh, some genres to become really popular and other people to pick up on them. So yeah, the first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is house music. House music is the kind of music, the kind of EDM music you might hear on the radio. Um, it's kind of disco style and it has some soul music elements tied in is how uh, I've heard a lot of people describe it. And you can hear that as well. So for each of these five that I'm gonna show you guys, I'll give like two or three examples of some songs which fit in. And you'll be able to hopefully in these songs hear some differentiation, even amongst the same category, to give you a bit of an understanding about just how different EDM music can be. So first, uh, this is our first house song. See, so it's not like super intense. Um, it's pretty chill. It's kind of bouncy, uh, not super hard. Here's another house song. So hopefully you could hear some of the similarities in those. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys one more house song because house song really has like, I mean, they all do, but house really has a lot of differentiations. And that's a pretty popular song. Uh, that one, last one was Chris Lorenzo. That's a pretty popular song. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's on the radio as well. So uh, some other really popular artists are Cascade and Dr. Fresh. Dr. Fresh um, has a really unique sound though. So he also kind of falls into bass, which we'll get into later. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit of an idea about house music. Um, just a couple of the different variations, which a lot of these can get mixed, like you'll see late next, uh, we're gonna start talking about trance music, but there's like house trance, so there's a lot of ways that they can be mixed in and uh, woven, and that can create a lot of really cool and different sounds. Um, so now we're gonna get into trance music. Trance music is really melodic, uh, there's a really long build, and it's like 125 to 150 beats per minute, um, about, so beats per minute is, uh, you know, obviously within 60 seconds every time that the beat, like, hits. And you'll see as we go through these that some of them have, like, a much higher amount. And that's uh, just kind of the nature of, like, what distinguishes them and what makes them different. So I'm going to go ahead and play a trance song for you guys. Here it is. All right, so there's one trance song, and then I'm gonna play another one for you guys. So yeah, hopefully you can hear some similarities in those, but they're also um, are still pretty different, and it's pretty melodic if you're noticing that. Oh, uh, here's one. Why I love Envato elements. Sorry, there's an ad. You know, what are you gonna do? Um, this is the last trance element that I'm gonna, sh or the last trance example I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, so that one cut a little bit, uh, but those ones were both trance music, um, and you can hear it's very like ba 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 ba, and then there's usually also kind of um, an overlaying kind of melodic tone. So yeah, some really popular trans artists include Tiesto and Darren Porter. Um, and yeah, they both also, of course, have a lot of variation. Um, so next we're gonna talk, talk about dubstep. 
this is like a lot of low bass tones and kind of chaotic sounds and it's coming in at about 140 beats per minute so here is the first dubstep example <laughs> So you can hear, it's pretty chaotic. Um, I love dubstep personally. On this list, it's probably my second favorite. So here's one more dubstep song. Okay. So that's dubstep. I think that chaotic is a good way to describe it. Uh, it's really intense, really heavy. Um, I had some good examples of dubstep include Excision, who's one of my ultimate favorites, as well as Virtual Riot and Rusko, all of which I've seen live and are just incredible. Um, and now we're going to get into my personal favorite on this list, probably my personal favorite of all of the EDM genres, which is drum and bass. It comes in at about 165 to 185 beats per minute, and it's got a little bit of funk, and it's deep and rough um so this is like drum and bass is really popular for headbangers um <laughs> so you can imagine that um here's the first example <laughs> that's the first one uh here's the second example That was the third one. Um, they kind of cut together, uh, cut them a little bit too close. Um, and some good examples of drum and bass artists include Sub Focus and John B. Um, and yeah, the crowd is usually super hyped with these ones, as well as the last one we're going to talk about today, which is Hard Style. Uh, so Hard Style has the highest BPM going up to like 230 beats per minute. And that's, I think, hard is really the English easiest to distinguish. Because it's, um, it's really like, buh, 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 which you'll hear in these songs. Um, it's like really fast. I can't even mimic it because it's like very, it's like, it's like tap, 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 basically. Um, so I'm so bad at describing it with my mouth. But here are some clips and hopefully this will, you'll be able to hear the difference in these. Okay, there's the first one. You could hear that was kind of like poo, 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 poo. Um, okay, let's play another one. Okay, and I'm gonna play one more example of hard style. Here it is. So you can hear in all of those examples, which I think is why hard style is easiest to recognize, is that there's a there's a really repetitive and pretty constant like ba 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 at whatever speed it might be. Um, sorry, I'm not a better DJ. I wish I had a board. Fortunately, I don't. But yeah, there's a whole lot of other examples and genres to explore. So I hope that you take the opportunity to learn more about it and learn which one is your favorite. So please comment below which of these is your favorite. And if it's one I didn't mention, please let me know. And if I haven't heard of it, I'll definitely check it out. And if I have, uh, maybe somebody else down below will agree with you. So thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe. And I'll see you for a couple more videos talking about rave and EDM and polar culture. Thanks.